jumped out uh, early on. You guys got that big halftime lead, and that was just too much to overcome. Is that kind of how you felt it went? Uh, I mean, yeah. First half, we just our defense. We really struggled on that, honestly, uh, just from the tip, and then they just kind of got whatever they want, whenever they wanted it, and uh, yeah, we just got to be better on that end. Really, it starts in the first half, and um, yeah, so we should improve on that side of the ball, really. Yeah. I would agree. We struggled a lot on the defensive end. Uh, even then, so on the offensive end, those turnovers led to uh, transition buckets, uh, yeah. and then that really killed us. Um, we ended up points on, over turnovers here, and they have 23 off that. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. What are you guys going to just talk about? I mean, obviously, it was a terrible roller coaster. You know, down, come back, down, come back. I mean, it's positive that you, know, you guys are still showing resiliency. Um, you know, still showing fight. You know, no matter how down it gets, is that a positive at least takeaway? Tonight. Yeah, like you said, we, we kept fighting back, uh, but I mean, ultimately, we dug ourselves too deep in the hole. Um, we weren't able to get back out of that. Um, but you know, I just I just think we need to have that fight we show at the end of games um, uh, from the tip, and I think that'll help us a lot. Yeah, what happens at the end of the game is just like, all right, it's now it's do or die, or and you're like a different team in the last mm-hmm. six, seven minutes from all the. Because we just, uh, yeah, we just you know we're in a hole, we got to get it. Going to run, make a make a way back into it, and I mean, usually we can end up doing it. Get on a little run. I know we got it to ten. I got it back to sixteen. I think um, one or two times at least. So yeah, I mean, just going on a run, just knowing that we ain't got much time left. I know sometimes uh, coach says he sometimes talks to you guys at halves after a rough first half. Did he did he say anything to you guys tonight at halftime? Yeah, and, and just, what's the message? There's just our, an emphasis on uh, their wide open threes, points in pain, then turnovers, and how many points off turnovers they were getting on us. So, a lot of those like effort plays like that, uh, getting back in transition, we weren't finding guys a lot. And like I said, that comes off turnovers sometimes. But I mean, sometimes we'd get a uh, you know good shot and then come right down the floor and get another one, and then uh, we can't have that because that's just, uh, just evens out. And we don't want that. We need to get some points and get stops, and then uh, and that's obviously how you win games. But we need to keep. Uh, Put up a lead by doing that. We just weren't able to do that tonight. Brandon, uh, when they brought in uh, AJ, did you did you I mean did you guys start noticing something clicking down low in terms of hitting boards and whatnot? I mean, it seemed like you guys started finding a little bit of momentum to start the second half. And yeah, one of the things that uh, kind of shocked me a little bit tonight is they put a petty on me and put a Planudas on AJ, so that allowed us to try and uh, go inside some more with AJ, and that worked a little bit. But uh, I mean. Offensive rebounding wise, I think we had, I would say eight tonight. I don't think we did a, a good enough job at that. I think we need to improve on that more. After a Milwaukee game, you give up 20 offensive rebounds, still were able to come back and win. Was that a point of emphasis this week? You did a little better tonight, I think. Yeah, I mean, that, uh, that's just kind of something we got to just work on controlling the glass. And I think uh, our big man group uh, did a, uh, a decent job of that tonight. We didn't win the uh, – we did win the rebounding battle, but it's just it's just not good enough. Uh, held them to 6 0 boards, but we just got to – I mean, even lower, we can do better. What was the message during halftime after all those turnovers? What was, what was Coach Nagy saying to you guys? Uh, just – Take care of the ball. I mean, it was just loose plays, uh, just kind of nonchalant type plays that we were giving up. And then our transition defense getting back was just, it was awful, honestly. So, I mean, we were just emphasizing, like, taking care of the ball and getting matched up. Yeah, they had, what was it, second, or, uh, yeah, point twenty three off points off turnovers. So, we just got to do a better job. Coach, couple first thoughts, and then we'll take some questions. Um, you know, 17 turnovers, bad deal. You know, those ones in the first half, but you really hurt us. And, and you know, I've just been coaching long enough to know there aren't. And you just ah, oh, what are the explanations for this and that? And there, there aren't any. Uh, in terms of like why, you know, explain why we wouldn't be ready to go. Why, uh, you know. Uh, mostly, I just think uh, you know teams 
teams are a little tired of us and they're after us and and uh, and we're not we're not quite prepared for it and you know John had his kids ready to go and I didn't that's the way I look at it is he, he did a good job and, and had them hungry and we weren't and so that I mean it falls to me They built that big lead, uh, Scott, in the first half, 51 points. Most of that seemed like was on threes. I know not they all of it. They made seven of them. They made seven yeah. of them. It's, it's, yeah. not like, it's not an ungodly number. So, yeah. uh, But, you know, a lot of it was off turnovers, and we were bad in transition on top of it. So that's not a good combination. About Trey's night tonight. I mean, he gave you points, but he also turned the ball over. And, yeah. I mean, and even take better care of the basketball um, and, and be better defensively. Our, our entire team needs to be better defensively. They, they, they had it both ways. They made threes and they made layups. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's one or the other, but it can't be both. We're, we're just not good enough right now. We're not even close to good enough defensively right now to to make, make a run at this. And that, that's the thing that has to change for us. And, uh, you know, that, that, that'll be... I mean, it obviously is. It, it, those kind of things fall on me in terms of that. But but it, 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 we really need our guys to embrace that and understand that that's how we're going to get out of this funk of just win a couple games, lose a couple games, win, lose, win, lose, and and, and make a run. Is is if if we ever start getting better defensively, and you know we kind of made some strides, and then we come in here tonight and don't. You know, some of that is turnovers. It's hard to be great defensively when you're turning the ball over, but some of it is just want to. Coach, were you happy with how the guys did come out in the second half? Obviously, I mean, you know, uh, resilience through the second half. I, I, you know, I, I guess, I, like, I'm, I'm happy we just didn't roll over because there, there's when things aren't going well, there's two things you can do. You can either, you know, pull your knees up to your chest and roll up in a ball, or you can fight and. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm I'm glad we didn't give in to just complete discouragement because it would have been easy for us to. Were you surprised to see Plunidis starting Braun instead of Bill tonight? Not really. I mean, they were trapping, so it really didn't matter. Uh, I mean, you know, they put their best defender on Brandon, who's who's been tearing the league up and. Uh, you know, they made it hard on post players because anytime we threw it in there, they trapped. And so, you know, our guy, our post players didn't get a lot of shots. And, you know, I think we, we settled way, way, way too much for jump shots. We had them in some foul trouble early in the second half, and then it was just jump shot, jump shot, jump shot, instead of getting to the rim and getting to the free throw line, which is where we needed to be. Coach, just looking at, you know, not to harp on the defense, but I mean, just from training. Is, did you think it was just bad decisions? Was it just a byproduct of his aggressiveness trying to facilitate? I guess what would you like to see going forward with you know not wanting him to slow down and his assist? It's know, not because he's it's not because he's playing fast. I just like to see him take care of basketball. <laughs> I mean, it isn't because we're playing fast. And um, I mean, as a coach, what are you going to say? Take better care of the basketball. I mean. What, Everybody already knows that. You know, the, the question is how, what do we get? Yeah. Uh, and he generally does. He generally does take pretty good care of it. You know, his assist turnover ratio is very good. He just did it tonight. And it, and it hurts. Uh, you know, I, uh, I don't think there's, in other words, I don't think there's anything I can say to Trey. Like, he's not going to have another game where he turns it over nine times. I don't know that. You know, I mean, he just turned it over tonight. The first of four home games on this little stretch here. What, it may not be you? good for us. I mean, we're, we're, we've been way better on the road. And, and again, you go, oh, what's the explanation for that? Like, I don't have one for you. So don't ask me the question because I don't know what to tell you. We, you know, since I've been here, we've been great in this place. And this year, we've not been. And I don't have the answer to that question. But, but you know, we're getting ready to face a team that whipped these guys the other night. And, and it'll be interesting to see how we respond.